Hello teachers, now I'm going to show you a very powerful tool to make your lessons more engaging. As we know that PowerPoint is a great tool, but somehow students can just listen and they cannot interact with the teachers. Pear Deck is a great tool to engage students. You can use Pear Deck to get the students' response, to interact with the students. Now let me show you how. The first step is go to PearDeck.com and log in with Microsoft account or Google account. If you use a Microsoft PowerPoint, then I would suggest you to use to log in with the Microsoft. If you don't if you didn't uh, sign up, please sign up. If you use Google Slides, then you just need to log in with the Google account. Okay? That's the first step. The first time you use it, you will authorize and then give, the, give Pear Deck access to your uh, Microsoft account. Okay. Now, as usual, you make uh, a PowerPoint. If you are using Microsoft uh, a PowerPoint, you just make it as usual. But remember to sign in. Click here to sign in your Microsoft account. Or if you are using Google, just use your Google account. Okay. After you sign in, turn on the auto save. Auto save then it will automatically up upload to your Microsoft account. Remember, you cannot use Pear Deck on your PowerPoint desktop version. You can only use it in the online version. Okay? OpenOffice.com and log in your office. As you can see that now it's already uploaded here. That's your recent one. Or this one. Click it. The first time you, you use it, you need to insert an add-in. Pear Deck add-in. Insert. Click insert. Click add-in. Now search Pear Deck. Add. Okay. Since I already added, I don't need to continue anymore. Now click Home. You will find it in the online version, you will see a Pear Deck right here. This is a very powerful add-in. Click it. And now you will see that there are some options right here. Ask the students a question. Right here, I have a question. When you get really tired, what do you want to do? Mm, I want my students to answer my questions. So, I will click this one. Now, from the student's side, later they will be able to type their response. You don't need to do anything with this toolbar. Don't move it, don't delete it. If you move it or delete it, then it's not working. Just leave it there. Okay? Now, second, this man falls asleep standing in the subway. Now, I want the student to rate it from 1 to 10. How tired do you think he is? Up, up. Update the slide. Now later students will choose a number. How tired is he? From 1 to 10. Okay. This page, I have some options for students and I want to update it so the students will make a choice. Okay. I click choice. Option A, B, C, D. 
or I can add a more. Option A, one. Option two, B. Option three. Option C, three. Now I'm going to update the slide. So later I'm going to ask the students, hmm, which fears did you have before? Okay, students will be able to make a choice. Now this one, I want to add a video. Remember, if you add a video right here, when you present with Pear Deck, students cannot watch the video. They can only see a picture right here. So you need to add a website. Okay. Now let me add a website. I want the students to watch the video. The benefit of watching video in this way is students they can click the button and they watch the video by themselves and it will not be laggy totally depends on their internet speed if you go to um, YouTube if you copy link directly later when students watch it will be like this students cannot watch it actually I don't know why they did that but there is a trick for you to share YouTube video. Instead of copy the link directly, you need to go to embed and copy this one between the quotation HTTPS, find it, this one, a very short one, just to copy this one. Remember, it's the HTTPS, okay, between the quotation. Now paste. Now students will be able to preview, to watch by themselves, okay? Now update slide. Okay, I'm done with my preparation. Now I'm going to present. When you present, you want to make sure the students use the easiest way to go to your slide. So you come here, remember, if this is turned on, students need to join with their email and which costs a lot of time. You want students just to click the link and join your class right away. So make sure you turn this one off. Okay, turn this one off. Now present with Pear Deck. I usually choose instructor paced activity because it's an online lesson, right? Okay. Now you can copy the link. Students can use another device to join uh, Pear Deck. They can use a tablet or a cell phone to join by just go to this website and then input the code. They can join. Or if they don't, they can join with a link. You can give the link. It will be copied automatically. And you give the link to students through chat zoom chat and the students click the link they will go to this website the students will be asked how are you feeling today mm, i'm feeling great okay now you can start now students will be able to see your presentation now this is the teacher's end you're still waiting to see how many students are joining Ah, I've already seen one student already connected. I'm starting my class right now. Okay, as you can see, I have 14 pages. This is the pre presenting mode. Now I'm going to go to the next one. Hmm, when you get really tired, what do you want to do? Okay, now, from the student's side, they will see a box. Hmm, I want to... I just want to sleep okay students don't need to confirm to submit the type you can see it right away that's teachers end hmm, I'm not seeing anything remember to click show responses this is very important show responses yep now I see it the student typed want to sleep or you can choose a different layout but remember, students cannot see this response page if they're using the same device. They need to switch back 
to zoom sharing screen, and then they can see other people's responses. I'm going to the next page. The man falls asleep standing in the subway. Remember what you put here, okay? I'm asking students to rate how tired is the man from 1 to 10. Now, please enter a number. How tired is the person? He's falling asleep and standing in the subway. Okay, I think he's probably uh, 9. He's pretty tired. Now, from the teacher's end, oh, this student rated 9. Okay, and you will see different responses from students. Okay, now next slide. Uh, I didn't put anything here. Now see, if you see this one, it means I put an uh, interactive slide right here. Okay, so these are the fears that I had. And which fear did you have? Hmm. Yeah, I think I was also afraid of being bullied. Yeah, that's my choice. Okay, now from the teacher's end, remember to click show responses. You can see how many students respond. Ah, oh, one student responded to being bullied, afraid of being bullied. Okay. Next page. Now, you didn't see any two bar right here, so it's totally fine. The next one, oh, you see this, there is a, a pair deck icon here. It means it's an interactive uh, slide. Now, that's the student's end. See? Students can just click play. And they can listen. So it's very convenient. And the students will now see a lag video. Okay, now I'm going to move on. Um, but right now, what did Jesus do to the storm? Hmm, I want the students to answer my question, but I haven't got any uh, interactive slide here. What can I do? This is a very powerful tool, new prompt. At the beginning of the class, you can use this prompt to ask the students. During the lesson, you can use these. Hmm, I've shared a lot, so drag your dog to how I'm feeling right now. Keep going, understand, or a little confused. Now, students end. Hmm, yeah, I am, I totally understand. Keep going. So, from the teacher's end, show response, and you will see where students are at right now. Okay, hide response. Now, uh, what did he say to his disciples? Mm. Now, at the end, you can use this prompt. But now, I don't want to use any of these. Or you can choose, let students to write a response. These, for this prompt, you don't need to prepare in advance. You just need to come here and choose one. Mm. True or false? Did Jesus say to his disciples, where is their faith? Did he say that? True or false? Now from students' end, they can choose their answer. Hmm, yes, I think he said that. Okay, teacher's end. Yeah, one student said true. That's correct. Let's come back to this one. So what did he say to his disciples? I can cho choose another prompt. Hmm. Come here. This is my favorite one. My favorite prompt page. I want students to type. Text. Remember right here, you don't need to prepare anything in advance. You just come here. See, there is no pair deck icon. I didn't prepare it in advance. Suddenly, I want students to type. What did, what did he say to his disciples? And now, I added a... See, when you see show responses, it means students can respond. Yeah, probably he said, uh, where is your faith? Hmm. Now, I believe you got the idea. Now, you can see students typing. 
Okay, when you don't want students to type anymore, you can lock screens. Now students cannot type anymore. Your teacher has locked responses for the slide. Okay, now scene separates and brings fear. Now I want to choose to draggable. If you want to use draggable, you usually need to pay. But if you use new prompt, this is for free. Okay, students, can you tell me which picture is Adam and Eve send the moment they send? Please drag the blue dot. You cannot see the blue dot, okay? You cannot see the blue dot, only students can. Now, please drag the blue dot to the picture, okay? Yes, I think this is the picture represent that Adam and Eve send. Show response. Oh, students drag it here. I want to choose a new prompt. Okay, please circle. Please circle which picture, uh, in which picture Adam and Eve start to have fear. Please circle it. Now, that's the students and uh, they already choose pencil. The default one is pencil and they can choose color. I like this one. Ah, I think this one. They can text, highlight, line, or erase, okay? Okay, I believe you got the idea, right? So this is a very powerful tool. When you finish presenting, click end. And give the name. My son is school lesson seven. Save and end session. Now all the students' response will be saved in your Pear Deck account. You can come back to check the response later if you, if you need. But see, the original PowerPoint is still there. Nothing was changed. And but from here, go to your Pear Deck account, you will see a new uh, file named with this one. After class, if you want to check it, you can check it. That's all. I hope this helps you. Uh, remember, it's a new tool. You need to learn it. You need to experience it. Most importantly, try it first by yourself. Do what I did just now, step by step, to explore it first. Or, and then to try it with a colleague, uh, another teacher or a family member until you're getting comfortable with using it Then start to use it in your classroom. Otherwise you will sweat. That's what I did <laughs> But after trying a few times and then you will get more comfortable with it It's a great way. You don't need to prepare anything extra. You just use new prompt and It will immediately make your lesson engaging and interactive. I hope this helps you Thank you very much.